Hey guys, Ultra Maximus official merchandise is now available on my Spring Store. Help support the channel and shop by clicking the link below. Oh, hey, look, it's Scorpio. <laughs> Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another Transformers figure from Rise of the Beast. This is the Target exclusive Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Scorponok, and Sandspear. Now, this is an interesting set. I've only seen it once at my Target location, and I had to pick it up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Scorponok and Sandspear in the package. It's an open face box. Uh, it's got the Beast Alliance, Transformers, uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Rise of the Beasts. This side's got a picture of Optimus Prime. This side has Scorponok. So just kind of a close up of the packaging. We get the Beast Alliance up at the top. There are the two figures. Bumblebee down there, because it's the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line from Target. And then Transformers Rise of the Beasts. And there's Optimus from the movie. And there we have some nice artwork of Scorponok. Back of the package here, we've got uh, Sand Spear in both his modes and Scorponok in his. How many steps for transformation? So just kind of a close up. Very interesting. Lots of scorpions in the movie, I will say that. So this is cool to get the figures. And that's about it for the box. Let's get these guys out of package and see what we think. Here we have Scorponok and Sandspear out of the packaging, and these are not bad figures at the price point that they are. They are not like uh, Voyager figures or Studio Series, but they are definitely fun. And the fact that we get some Scorpion figures from the movie, I am digging that. It wasn't exactly Scorponok like we saw in the first Transformers movie, but uh, there were a bunch of Scorpion bots, and uh, this, this guy really doesn't look like him, but... Uh, He's got two accessories, Sand Spear and a sword. That is his tail. So let's look at Sand Spear here. Um, he's got a little bit of articulation. He's got ball joints and his little arms. There's really nothing underneath there. Uh, his tail does move back and forth. And then um, we get this little blade that can whip out at his stinger point. So that's pretty cool. Definitely a fun little scorpion drone type of thing. And then we get this sword here. So let's look at this really quick. Throw him to the side. Uh, yeah, so this is his tail turned into a sword, so pretty cool. I like the green faded paint. There is some articulation in it, because it is his tail. So yeah, chop chop. Very cool, very fun. Now, Scorponok himself, this is a very weird figure. His head spins back and forth really all around. Um, he's got ball joints everywhere up here at the top. We got ball joints, his shoulder pads move, nothing at the waist. Ball joint at the elbow. Nothing at the wrists, unfortunately. Wish the claws open and closed. Legs do kick up and back. They kick out about that far, which is nice. Uh, ball joints at the legs. But they are hampered because of the scorpion legs on the side. Uh, and that's really it for articulation. Taking a closer look at the figure itself. This guy is kind of weird. I will give it that. I do like the greens. He's got a Predacon logo, which he's not part of the Terracons. Uh, we do see the Predacon logo in the movie, which is kind of cool. But I do like the greens and the browns. He's got a very weird face. I don't know if this is a repaint of an existing figure. I feel like it's not. If you do know, leave a comment down below. But he is an interesting version of Scorponok. I just wish that his hands had claws that could actually open and close. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's not a bad figure for the price point. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, sculpted pretty well. Uh, we got the legs of the scorpion kind of in the back in the way. Uh, again, I, I wish there was more articulation in the hand area. Uh, maybe not necessarily the hand, but another claw that could pinch. That would have been cool, but I do, again, like the browns, the grays, the greens. Very uh, well painted. Uh, he's got a lot of, like, mech tech type of ports, which kind of made me wonder, is this a figure from another line? I'm not really sure. 
And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Uh, again, sculpted well. Love all the detail on his front legs, and that green fades into the brown. The scorpion legs just fold behind the robot legs, and they just kind of sit there, which is kind of unfortunate, but at the same token, it stands really well because of it. Uh, just a really big ankle spur, but uh, yeah. Uh, very well painted and a uh, very stable figure. For comparison, here we have the Beast Alliance Scorponok and Sand Spear with the Studio Series Core Class RC, and he's definitely about twice as high as the RC figure. This probably is close to scale to what we see in the movie because the Scorpions do transform up to pretty good sized figures when they faced off against Prime and the Maximals, and uh, it's she's really about the same size as Sand Spear down there, but uh, she's definitely more complex of a figure. Now let's take a look at the transformation for Sand Spear first. So we're going to take him, we're going to flip his little pinchers forward, pull his tail back, pull the blade out, and then you're going to pull out the handle, and there we have Sand Spear in his um, weapon mode-ish. Now, he's supposed to be a sword type of weapon, so we're going to plug it into his hand, and there we have him as a sword. Doesn't work all that great because his legs just kind of sit there. I kind of wish his legs folded inward. That would have helped. we got a great big hole there, and it's just kind of meh. I guess you can turn it around this way. Doesn't really help as much, but uh, what I did discover, since we got these mech tech type of ports on his arms right here, you can plug Sand Spear into this. It's going to be a little tight, but it will go in. It's five millimeter, and then fold him downward over Scorpinox's hand, and I think that looks much better because his hand kind of fills in that gap, and it turns into kind of a big forearm claw type of weapon and I just think this works a lot better for the figure so yeah this is the way that I display him uh, when I've got him up on the shelf holding sandspeed. Now the transformation for Scorpionok is not too terribly bad so first thing we want to do is spin his head all the way around backwards like that and then we want to flip the scorpion head forward like this then we are going to fold his shoulder pads down, just like that. Flip his arms upward, and then you kind of want to spin the arms around like this to get more into a scorpion type of pose. And then what you want to do is there are some tabs um, on his feet, or his knees are going to go up into the back, I guess. Um, so we're going to fold this on this double joint. Uh, actually, it's going to be on the back of the feet. Um, right here, this uh, foot spur, this, the little one, is going to go into that hole. So you're going to fold this double knee joint up and kind of peg that into place. And you're going to do this with the other one and kind of peg that into place. And then you're going to close the back half together. Um, there are two pieces underneath that are going to clamp into place and just squeeze them in. They will go in like that, and you're going to create another little five millimeter peg port with the legs. Just straighten everything out like that, and then you're going to plug the tail in right there. So you're going to take the tail, and you're going to plug that in just like that, and then you're going to spin the tail around to make it all scorpion-like, just like that. And here we have him in his scorpion mode. So here we have Scorpionok in the Scorpion mode, and this is not a bad mode. Um, I like it. I think it looks pretty decent. I like the green and the brown. Reminds me a lot of old Beast Wars toys, which is cool. Um, so articulation is up on the arms, at the elbows and shoulders. I wish there were pinchers, but there is not. You do have articulation at the tail, um, which is kind of cool. I wish the feet did not stick up on the back. But uh, yeah, that's really about it for the articulation on this guy. Um, again, reminds me of an old Beast Wars figure, which I definitely dig. And here we have him with Sand Spear, his little drone buddy. So is Scorpionok and Sand Spear, the Transformers Rise of the Beast, Beast Alliance 
Target exclusive from Buzzworthy Bumblebee, something you want your Transformers collection. Well, if you like Target exclusives or exclusive figures, this would be something you're after. If you're a Beast Wars fan, if you like Scorponok, this could be something you're after. If you're collecting all of the Rise of the Beast figures, this will definitely be one that you want. Now, here in the U.S., it is Target exclusive, but I have seen pictures of him in Toys R Us exclusive boxes in Japan and probably in Canada. Uh, it's not a bad figure. Here in the U.S., it was $16. I like the drone concept uh, with the little animal turning into a weapon. I think that's pretty cool, but I wish that his legs folded in that make a better sword. But as it is, I just use it as a forearm type of weapon. Um, transformation on Scorponok is, you know, pretty decent for what it is, and uh, it looks good, but it has kind of almost a different vibe from the rest of the figures with that head. I'm not really sure. Again, it just feels like it was supposed to be to a different um, line. I'm not really sure, but uh, overall, I like it. It's got a Predacon logo, which is pretty cool, and it, again, harkens back to old Beast Wars figures for me. So there he is! Scorponok and Sandspear from Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Hey guys, I want to give a shout out to my top subscribers and to my newest subscribers. Thank you all so much for helping grow the channel. Remember, for every 1,000 subscribers, I'll give you, the fans, a chance to win a free action figure. If you don't see your name and want to be included, like this video, Add a comment down below telling me to add you, and of course, subscribe. Thanks again, and look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.